welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so my name is Dominique Luca and welcome back to my messy bathroom I guess as you should say um so I figured I'd do like a get ready with me and just like chat to you guys because why not all the makeup I use is literally just in this little box right here like I don't wear a lot of makeup i hate wearing makeup i feel like it just like does not make my skin breathe a few moments later i never even knew this was actually a thing until a few months ago and i'm like being dead honest with you guys like i honestly thought those were stuff that people just put in the movies because it's just going into like the movies type thing sorry i'm leaning like on the toilet seat to try to do my makeup because good lighting and i'm cheap like that and don't have proper lighting so it's just gonna have to do next i'm gonna use the laura mercier translucent powder okay i used to like put like concealer stuff under my eyes for my last video that you guys saw but like I said, I don't use a lot of makeup and I just felt that it was just caking my face. So I don't do that anymore. I literally just use this translucent powder. If it comes out, I'm actually empty. So yeah, uh, the whole sugar daddy thing, like mm -hmm. I did not know it was an actual thing until a few months ago where a lot of girls here in the town mm -hmm. that I stay near actually have them. Like. And I'm not even from like a big city or anything like that. I literally live in a small, okay, well, I live in like a little town compared to the actual small town, but it's literally like a 20 minute drive. So it's not that bad. Dude, I feel like I'm not even getting any out because I'm actually like empty, which is going to be so sad to throw away, but kind of have to, it's one of those little bottles. Wow, I just totally missed the garbage bin and I'm going to have to pick that up. Yeah, so... There are a lot of girls just in this small town alone that have sugar daddies. Like, what? Like, and some of them even have boyfriends and they're going out on these dates with these 60 year old men just so that they can pay their rent or like buy expensive things. Like, I don't know if I could ever do stuff like that. Like, that's just, that's so weird. Okay, so um, next I'm just gonna use the um, secret brightening powder for under eyes. It probably works better if people put concealer on, but as you know, I don't have con. Well, I do have concealer, I just don't use it. Um, I don't even know how this helps because I feel like when I eventually put it on my face, I end up brushing it off anyways. I feel like a lot of girls shouldn't get discouraged when they see some of these girls that have like a few extra followers on Instagram, like say if they have like 10,000 or 16,000 followers on Instagram and they're going on these expensive trips and have all these nice things that big influences have and they start getting discouraged. Like how are they living that life? Like how are they doing so good? Let me tell you, those girls have sugar daddies, people. How do people not get this already that it's... It's huge and so many girls are doing it and I don't understand how girls think it's okay to do it. Like, I know like money and connections and everything like that gets you places in life, but do it the right way. Don't do it the wrong way. Don't lose your morals for something like that. And it's like, yeah, a lot of people think like I get a lot of messages on Instagram from like guys or whatever, but most of the time it's these creepy old men that literally say that they can give you everything you want they can give you like money just so you can sleep with them like i'm not a flipping prostitute like i'm sorry do i post kind of stuff on instagram that it makes me seem like a prostitute like i don't feel like i do um yeah i've posted like two or three fitness pictures and it takes a lot for me to even post that and sometimes i just like get shy and delete it afterwards because i'm just like uh, i don't know but i just I don't feel like I'm trying to attract that kind of attention and I hope I'm not like I it's just weird okay so because I didn't have like translucent powder I ran out of it which I'm super bummed about I need to get more I'm actually gonna be putting um just like so it's not like sticky on my face I'm gonna be putting like a powder from MAC this one is the medium mineral mineralized skin finish natural so i'm gonna be putting that on and just kind of like brushing it on my face like that um but yeah and then it kind of brought me back to when my friend was here from um south africa she came here 
wow it's been like more than a year now because she got here in november end of november last year um and we were at costco surprisingly and i kind of left her alone for like 10 minutes because it's costco like what's gonna happen you know don't think anything of it and she comes back she's like dom where were you and i'm like uh i was just in this aisle here and she's like this like 70 year old or 60 year old guy came up to her and was just like trying to chat to her and like okay i'm not being mean in any way that i wouldn't talk to like anyone who's looking for a friendly conversation because obviously i would like i mean i do get shy and i don't talk to strangers but i'm not gonna like be rude you know and um she was like no he's like asking for my number like because i'm from a foreign country wow well, i'm like me <laughs> Asking if I'm from a foreign country and take her for coffee and everything like that. And now that I think about it, it's like no normal old guy would ever ask that unless he's maybe had experience from like sugar daddies or something like that. Or like he's, I don't know. Now that I think about it, it's just like a messed up situation. Like if you go out, girls aren't even interested in like meeting guys their age or anything like that. They're so power hungry to find a sugar daddy and so power hungry to find someone to pay their bills and everything like that because everyone's wanting this extravagant lifestyle that influencers put out there that they'll be willing to do anything to get to it. You know what I'm saying? And like, I'm sorry, if one of my friends were doing that, I would tell them straight. Like don't lose your morals over that just because you're wanting the high life and you're just gonna find the easy way out of it. You know what I'm saying? And like, okay, it's all different if like, say someone is dating a an older guy and like they love each other or whatever. That's fine. See, I don't even know how to do makeup. I'm busy like just brushing it off on my face. And that's that, okay. Now I am going to contour and chisel the fuck out of my face right now because obviously it makes you look thinner i think i don't know it makes you look like you have high cheekbones but yeah no if i can find it oh yeah it's right here um okay so i use the hula benefit to um is there a certain kind yeah, I just use this one to like bronze my face, I guess. And then I put a little bit of a blush on my face. Um, and yeah, uh, back onto the sugar daddy thing because obviously it affects me so much that I have to rant about it and you're probably done hearing about it. I don't really want to spend a lot of money on makeup because I've done that before where I watched a Tammy Hembrow makeup tutorial and this was like three years ago when I was obsessed with her and I probably still am because I think she's absolutely stunning and I watched one of her makeup tutorials and literally bought every single item she used which came to like $600 on Sephora and did it make me look like her? No. Did it make me like feel flippin' beautiful? Kind of, but I don't really know how to put makeup on so that's probably why. So. I kind of just do that. I don't know how much I put on because I'm looking at my phone right now. And then I just, whoa, that would not be good. I put on my nose and then I dash a little bit under my eyebrow because I think you're supposed to do that. I don't know. So I'm going to do my eyebrows now. I'm not going to do it in the actual phone because I would probably mess it up big time. I'm looking really white in this light, but it's the only really good lighting in the house other than like by my staircase where I film a lot of my other videos. So if I look really pale in this video, that's um, probably why. I mean, generally I am pale because it's winter time right now, but I am putting self tanner on. So I should be more tan than I look right now. I don't know why I'm trying to justify that to you guys because you probably don't even care. It's just me being like just analyzing my face right now. And then last but not least, I put on um, a like face spray. I use the MAC Prep and Prime because it smells absolutely amazing. And it doesn't make my face feel like it's absolutely soaked after I've sprayed it on. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to put that much on, but that's what I do. And now I'm just like glossing or shining. Um, 
But anyways, that was my get ready with me video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It wasn't any tips on how to do makeup because clearly I do not know how to do that. My rant or the whole reason I'm doing this video is because this is my message to you girls or whoever's watching who may have a sugar daddy, who may have thought about getting one. I am gonna go all mom mode on you guys right now and just be like, it's not worth losing your morals over or like your, so like, it's not worth degrading yourself getting a sugar daddy just because you want to live the high life or the dream life or whatever it is like please just like i mean if it's something you enjoy do you i don't know i don't get it don't lower yourself just because you want to be like some big influencer or famous or you want expensive things like honestly things in life take a lot of hard work and if you think sleeping with someone is hard work I mean it probably is but just don't degrade yourself that way like I know I'm repeating myself here but it's something I feel so strongly about I can't even sleep with someone I'm not in love with like I just and maybe that's just me maybe that's just how I grew up but please just don't do it like it's just not worth it I mean maybe for you because you want the money and you want to pay for expensive things but work for that like you're not gonna enjoy something if you don't work hard for it yeah i may seem judgmental because of this video but i really am not judgy at all and i know some people have to do things in life because they feel like they're in a rut or they feel like they're stuck but you are never actually stuck there are ways to go about things there are ways to just kind of be free yourself and just do things for you so that was my little video for you guys um if you did enjoy this if you didn't i don't know just please give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below help me follow my dreams by doing random videos for you guys i guess and this is who i am uh if you like it subscribe yeah.